to Pseudo Random. Hey, this is the drumming hour with me, Lady Ada, and... I'm feeling it. Colin Cunningham, feeling it. Colin, feeling it. No Cunningham. drum circles. Ah, uh, sorry. This wasn't a drum circle, it was just... It's a drum square, drum, drum yeah. segment. Walking out. Just to right. be clear, though. We're doing, no, we're active, no drum circles. active okay, people. We're not going to be doing drum circles today. We're going to be talking about Thank electronics you. and DIY electronics. <clears throat> it's a comfortable subject. Because here's why this not is... Not just DIY electronics. DIY, DIY. I, I, don't let me stop you. I want to tell you where this idea came from. So I could, I could bring where this... Where the idea of, of making electronic components came Yeah. From? Okay, so first up... Humans, humans do it all the time. It's like the wheel. Um, First up, we did a bunch of circuit playgrounds together, and we did one where we made a lemon battery. We we did do a lemon battery, and that, that was that was fun. Hey, for Ampere, that was the you, first circuit you and playground. We made a lemon battery together. There it is. And secondly, uh, we were doing some pseudo randoms about synthesizers, and it made me think of a project that I saw back at the Media Lab called Synth from Nothing. And this was uh, by a fellow named Noah who was in my group, and he wanted to build a synthesizer using only the components found in nature. Like it was post-apocalyptic, you know, Mad Maxian future where like, Still it's like fallout, wave. but you... you get, it, instead of tapping on the knee, you need something a little mellow to go with that bass You want a bass line, mm -hmm. yeah, with that. And so he was working on this project and you had done a video for Make about making your own LED. And so it was kind of this really interesting month of everyone seemed to be DIYing electronic components. Hardcore DIY, like dropping it way down. Down to way low, low. low. Yeah, and how did that work out? Did that, did, I actually I mean, don't remember. Because that's a lot to just get in something oscillating I totally on. I mean, it's possible, I mean. People have made their own transistor, but, transistor, but not something you find, stuff that you find in the woods. Well, they need like silicon and an oven and some stuff. Do you see that project by the person who made their own toaster? They like smelted like iron and like made, they tried to make a toaster. Made a heating element. Yeah. Where they get the electricity? Mm. Uh, that I don't know. I, been I think mined, you know, fer ferrous rock. And, never mind. This isn't all a fully consistent <laughs> internal I'm system. Just, it, what I'm saying is, yeah, of course, it doesn't have to be absolute. So can you talk a little bit about this video that you did with LEDs? Like, what, when were, do you remember um, making this? Was that you? Yeah. That was you, right? Yeah, I did. A guy looked like me without the, without the facial hair. Um, he, uh, he was really motivated by, well, because I, at the time I was really learning about uh, basics. I feel like I'm always learning about basics. Like, again, sort of always coming mm -hmm. in to, like, grok it from a low level. But um, LEDs, like, still, they're like, you know, when you just, you know, when you're just hello world with a new LED or something. Blinking. It turns on, you kind of, it has a little bit of a hypnotic effect. And um, they're fun. And Your light the, comes the from the sun, work, but there's not a sun inside of this. Well, how does that? Uh, it's magic. No, no, seriously, it's magic. Because it comes from crystals. It comes from crystals. It's crystals lighting up. It's, when people, even people are like, I don't know, that, that chick likes crystals or something. They talk about new age stuff. I'm like, well, I, I like crystals. Yeah, we have crystals. They're like, well, you don't seem like a new age kind of guy. I'm like, crystals, like, make your phone work. It's crystals true. are, yeah. Silicon wafers are crystals. Mm hmm. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. Crystals. LEDs, crystal. Powering so, all this. So when I found out that, like, inside of the LED, I can see it right there, is you know, a bucket with a wire over the top. Mm -hmm. And inside that bucket is a flat piece of crystal. And, um, and I was like learning about it and like the history of them. And in the early days, they made them out of silicon carbide, basically. Mm. And, and I'm looking up and I'm like, wait, that's uh, mal malib, malib, I still can't say it. Molybdenum. Molybdenum. The B and the D don't want right. to sit next to it. It's Malibium. an element. It is an element. And Where do you go buy this element? I Can you went go to a crystal shop? I went to the Rockstar Gem Shop in Manhattan. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. It is okay. called the Rockstar Gem Shop. A nice is it place, in Midtown? This it's is in Midtown. Always yep. in Midtown. Yep. Okay. It's in like near like the garment district. It's totally in that weird that district where it's like wholesale purchasers yep. only for these weird jewels. Yep. Yeah. But uh, there, actually, you could you could buy like one off, so it's really small, friendly. You know, walk-in kind of shop. A lot of people don't know this, shop. but Colin's hacker handle is the Dark Crystal. Yeah. It is a dark crystal. I've, you know, I've been known to 
I look like the guys with the big noses when I... It's an avatar thing. It's not me. Okay, so you went to this crystal shop in Midtown, and I'm assuming it was kind of a new agey shop. Um, or was it like a more of like sort, a it was like, mineral hey, collector shop? I think maybe it was like, they look cool shop, um, maybe for aesthetics, they mostly cool. motivation. But I'm like, maybe, just maybe. And it, it wasn't like totally cold, like I went in just thinking. I found one scrap of one information of a guy like on a forum somewhere who mentioned something in passing about how he got something to light up. Like it was a, it was, it was a piece of this silicon carbide. And, uh, but that was it. It's just like in passing, I found that after like deep, deep searches. And so, um, so I, that gave me a lead enough to like, yeah, you can try this out. So, so then, uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time trying to make it light up. I even tried, uh, you know, because you, you need a really fine point mm -hmm. uh, to make those electrons funnel down and jump the gaps. Uh, I tried a cat's whisker. You can still buy the old radio. Um, yeah, the iron ore. Cat's, Gal cat's whiskers. Oh, no, uh, not the, yeah, you can buy the crystals too. Okay. In like little, like, sort of like solder buckets. Uh -huh. um, but uh, the, the, the leads, the sharp, Okay. Uh, coiled spring lead, so you, so you can find a spot, mm -hmm. get a good spot on the crystal for when they're doing it with uh, radio when you're making it. Because that's a that's a diode. Radio. Yeah, you're making. So you're diode. using it backwards because the the crystal radio uses it as like a rectifying diode, and you're yeah. using it as a light up. Yeah, yeah. Not um, backwards, but you're just using blowing it energy out. Yeah. So <clears> so. Uh, so you made a video about it. Wait, so I made a video about it. It was a lot of fun, and uh, that was uh, yeah. I think the first. Uh, Make Presents video I made. That's cool. And yeah, a lot of people watched it, and uh, people talked to me about that one. And I'm like, wow, that was a long time ago. I'm glad you saw it. It was really fun. I but it reminded that. me all of this LEDs and music stuff that we've been doing. Yep. And so I sent you on a quest. You're like, you're like, this is yeah. I sent you on what a quest. I name? said, I said. What was your favorite color? Uh, go get the herb from mm -hmm. the troll. Right, and, and I did that, but pretty quick too. And then and the then sword. And I came back, and you're like. I got another quest. And then you're There's like, infinite. Uh, these are dynamically generated side quests. Right. I was a little surprised at this one. You're you're like build a, a circuit from household items, and I'm like the whole thing. And then you're like, well, you know, you can use like a five five five, but make it do something. Yeah. And, make it and do you something. did. And, and I did. Colin does yeah. a good job. Good He's work. the crystal of Lady Ada. She usually makes me the sword of the dragon of Lady Ada. I have to burn down villages and Randomly stuff. generated. Procedure is generated. I know. Well, I, was, I wasn't expecting we'd actually... I was thinking maybe we'd get a capacitor, an inductor. Maybe we could make some sort of basic oscillator. Because inductors are very easy. You just make a coil. Mm -hmm. But I thought maybe you would try doing the less made items, you know, resistors and capacitors. We, we could... And that try could be making two, this. maybe. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, this... Uh, wasn't wasn't too hard. Wasn't too hard. Did you um did you make a beautiful video about it? I made a video. Okay. It exists. Maybe, We're gonna watch uh, it. We'll watch this video right now.
Okay. That's a really lovely video that Square you made. Square wave steps. Yeah, it moved. And that was a 555 five, five timer it was chip. 555. Five, five. But instead of using Some foil, a graphite stick, resistors and capacitors. So the resistors were the black squares. So what's what's up with that? How does that right. made? Um, that was using uh, graphite sticks. You can use uh, soft drawing pencils, like an 8B, but you you're better off. I mean, if you want higher values, because this is the problem. Like, I would get really really low resistance value, and I'm like, huh? That's me being surprised. Yeah. So uh, I'd say a compressed graphite stick is good. That's the more silvery ones. The other ones, the non-compressed, just look like look like charcoal sticks. So you were able to get like about looks like about one to ten kilo ohms. I, more than that with one of those sheets. Twenty it, it kilo up, ohms, thirty. Up, yeah. It went up, okay. Yeah. And then yes, these are the oh, yeah, graphite so, sticks. Yeah, these are the these are the first ones that I I tried, and they were just it was like you know, single digit ohms, mm. each stick. Too, now, too conductive, too thick a material, too soft, you think? The 4H is really hard, huh. but it's, you know, when, when you're spreading it off on a thin sheet, yeah. on a paper, uh, on a piece of paper, that's, you know, you, you're, you're using a thin layer of it. And this is, I think it's just a lot of graphite, mm -hmm, <laughs> tightly mm -hmm. packed. Now, this this usage like, like this with two ends soldered, yeah. um, I, there, there's people, there's audio, uh, audio files that use those as high quality resistors. They actually put so them into trim, their amps. Because this is like a 13 ohm resistor and you could trim it. Y yeah, you could trim it, I, I guess. I mean, it's, it's pretty it's brittle. Like, so yeah. you can't, it's not like you can be like, well, you, you can, can like, just chisel draw. first and then. You yeah, you can, can, you can draw. You can draw yeah. until it's. I'll be done in like five minutes. 10 ohms, oh, right. keep going, eight ohms. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is a DIY, and how did so, you clip onto the end? Did you just wrap the wire? Yeah, I coiled wire and then soldered it. And this is preferred in some, for, for some audio usage because of its low inductive properties and mm -hmm. its. Um, Inverse thermal response, I think, instead of the resistance going lower when it heats up. Negative temperatures are positive. Higher, which yeah. doesn't make sense to me, but. It just different materials have different yeah, properties. Okay. There's some NTC, some PTC, so okay. maybe this is one of the ones that have right. the so other way. Not intuitive for me. And then you talked about this before. Right. This is the lemon battery that we made. Right, a step further, I could have powered the 555 with, you with could the lemon battery. You could right. have. And, 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 I but I think you wanted to get it working. Yeah. It's a little bit too... It, as simple as that looked, it actually was kind of... Uh, was a, a, lot of a lot delicate. of pack, a lot, a lot of uh, mm -hmm. trial and error to get the values actually working and yeah. some pulses going. But we could use those pulses to, uh, to power the, the DIY LED. What's funny is you could use those pulses to maybe make a boost converter that would take the lemon battery <laughs> <laughs> and like yeah. boost it up to like you know five volts or something. Right. The circle can just go keep going, right? Okay. If we could somehow use that to grow lemons, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We have a PWM to LED driver. Okay. Yeah. So I do have. I did bring the what I used to. And the to capacitor. Make Wait. So I have a question before oh, we go yes, on. Yes, what's yes, what's yes. how did you build those capacitors? What was the technique? Uh, the capacitor <laughs> was a piece of paper and then uh, a, a sheet of foil. Like a, so two foils. So you just make sure, basically, you know, you want to keep two plates parallel, well, you know, against one another. Mm -hmm. um, if I, so, so it was just a sheet of paper and then a, a smaller uh, piece, what a, a less wide sheet of tin okay. foil, and then another sheet of paper that was larger than tin foil, and then another small piece. Uh, actually, and I put tape over each layer. Just to keep it flat from ripping? Yeah, yeah to keep it in place. Oh, because it doesn't it flipped slide. Around. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I used, uh, for leads, I used paper clips. Okay. So it, it, it worked. If I kept going, just made it longer and longer, um, I could have gotten, you know, like a wide range of values. Yeah, because the capacitance is the size of thing. the, you could have had like yep. a piece exactly. of paper. Exactly. I could, I could have made them taller, too. Yeah. Um, but that worked for it's that. It's tough because you, you only have paper and air as your electrolytic right. material. And the, yeah, the value is kind of as you move it around. Very, all, yeah, <laughs> and a little bit of right. movement will change the right. value a lot. Right. Okay, and here we have this, um, this crystal. Oh, and and all those... Uh, Let's move in a little bit. Should be noted that those resistors did, the, the values did sort of change as they heated up. But anyway, that's a side note. This is, this is the silicon carbide. E, that's about as close as we'll go. Uh -huh. it's, it's actually a really pretty dark, dark crystal. Yep. And 
somewhat poseable here, right? Yeah. Or that I'm peeling off like old solder. And you just, you just nailed the stuff onto a piece of wood too. Yep. And then I just used a needle as the lead. And you're looking for the oxide, which, which creates the diode, or what? Do you remember the chemistry behind it? I was looking for a, a wide facet that lit up, basically. The chemistry oh, behind okay. it, the oxide. Mm, I'm looking for just straight crystal. Mm. I don't know if that would really apply, like an oxidized area. You mean? Well, I'm just wondering, like, what is it that actually creates the the p injunction? Do you know? Um, is it is it the it's, metal? It's the it's if you can get basically what I found was it was if I could get a gingerly enough contact where this was just the point of of the pin mm -hmm. was contacting a, a flat facet. That's why you see this big flat. I don't know if you can see that. In the camera. Yeah. Flat facet exposed here. Yeah. Uh, because Did you I chip was, like, that off? Targeted there. Uh, I might have. Yeah, I was able to break some pieces off. This is, silicon carbide is used as like industrial sanding mm. uh, agent, mm -hmm. and. Yeah, so we wouldn't be able to see it in the light in here. It it's is very dim. dim. I think we have, we have a we have a pic of it when it lit up. Yeah, it looks. So that's see, that's that, beautiful. And that looks like that is a glowing crystal. So yeah. magic is. Mm. I would say magic is like glowing glowing crystal. And there it is again. You have another one. Yep. So you had to just take a you had to take photos. It looks, really fast. It looks like it's. Yeah. Um, no, I could, I could it could be it could stay sustained. Oh, it would stay lit. Yeah, it would stay lit. Um, it looks like in incandescence, but it's it's not. There was some heat, but it wasn't like you know. It didn't it's burn not my melting. Flesh when I yeah. After and, and how much current would it take to light that up? Oh, it was a lot. It was a few amps. Because it would have to go all the way through the crystal. Exactly. Which was yeah, very so it's resistive. like it's jumping through the whole thing. Oh, sorry, very low resistance. I guess. I don't measure. What resistance. voltage did you? Um, do you uh, I think it was a twelve. It was like around there. Volts? I kept. Okay. It was like I would find like magic spots. Like I would go to another spot and then I would turn the voltage up and down on my mm. bench supply, and. Um, and the current would, okay. it would be different, how That's much it cool would jig. take. Okay, so you've made LEDs, you've made capacitors. Resistors. You sure have, you, I'm sure you've and made a, and inductors. And a pot in there, which is a resistor. Like oh, that's right, because you moved the right. Um, right. rheostat. You, yeah, you moved the, true, sure. I actually like your um, rheostat like wipers. Like you move this back and forth. That was oh, kind, yeah. of, uh, kind of adorable. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I also messed around with uh, uh, nailing this to, to a piece of wood and then having a slider that you can move back and forth. This mm -hmm. ended up being easier. And, uh, and you know, don't forget if you if you need to uh, change the value, you can draw on the other side as well. These are things yeah, that you learn when yeah, you're no, making yeah. resistors and capacitors. But yeah, capacitors are tough, but 1.5 nanofarads is pretty good. Yeah, that's respectable. Yeah, that's not. It's it's usable. It's a value. As I said, you could, you could just change it to get the, getting exact values is uh it's kind of kind of crazy. But you can get like in the range, so like yeah. you probably wouldn't be able to make a synthesizer from nothing, but you could maybe make a basic. I mean, I, I made I made a low pass filter there. That's what oh, that yeah? is in that okay. picture. Yeah, and that that did work. Okay. And it sounded so good. Yeah. It was so analog. Was it a warm sound? <laughs> oh, it was. Oh, Mogan got nothing on that LPS. And what is man. this? That's that's a square way of going through the, the low oh, pass filter. That is, you know, that is definitely. You, you can see how warm it sounds. Yes. There. Well, it's a little pointy. It's a little teethy. Yeah, but the, the, but it, it does, curve. I mean, look at the body. I'm it definitely sorry. low pass. I love analog. No question. Um, the, the pass was low. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it worked. There there could be more. We could could go much further. There's All right. quite, you can make your own guitar coils, pickups. You can wind your own. Yes, people do that. It takes a while, but it can be done. And then transistors are a little tougher. Right. But. Right. You, yeah. Jerry Ellsworth did some of those, right? Yeah, they're Silicon challenging. Silicon oven and chemicals and time. And it, it's strongly affected by light. You had to use it in the dark only because it was an epoxied, so the right. light would affect it. I wasn't big in photo class. I took it for a couple of years, but. Uh... Well, I'm glad you like got the experience. I was kind of curious, like, you know, could you, I'd seen people like, you know, make your own capacitor, but like, could you actually use it in a circuit? And so that was kind of. A good quest, I think. Yeah, it is. I keep thinking about other applications of it. I think the audio thing just makes sense. There's, there, there's more there. All right. I'll try to make a make an oscillator. We'll see. Okay. Well, maybe next time we will um, make a full computer using only binder clips and tissue paper. Next time will be a while, but it'll be good. Look out for that possible. All right. Episode. Congratulations on your quest. Thanks. I'll um, I'll have to probably. Kill some rats or get some, you get some leather leather shield or something. No, I'm gonna give I, you a metal shield. I get the next one. Oh, it's blessed. Oh, we can get it from plus her two now. against okay. zombies. 
cool. I just, I'm more into the, you know, plasma rifles, but it's cool. A different different RPG. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching this episode of Pseudo Random. You can make your own capa capacitors, resistors, inductors, Yeah, what are you and doing about that store-bought stuff? Come no. on. Make your own. Do DIY. Boutique, artisanal, Hardcore. fresh from the hand. It's the way to go. All right. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Later. That's Pseudo Random with Lady Ada and Dark Crystal.